Next, we look at the Bank of England, which is the central bank for the UK. While other central banks may pursue a policy of inflation targeting or an inflation range, the UK is one of the few developed nations with an explicit hard inflation ceiling of 2%. If inflation exceeds or falls short of this ceiling by 1% on either side, the governor of the Bank of England is required to explain the variance to the Chancellor of the Exchequer in writing and outline how he or she will remedy the situation. Within the Bank of England, the Monetary Policy Committee, the MPC, decides what monetary policy action to take. And roughly, they meet every six weeks, uh, which equals eight times a year. The MPC is made up of nine members, the governor, three deputy governors, the chief economist, and four external, external members appointed directly by the chancellor. Decision is based on the MPC majority with the governor holding the deciding vote in case of a tie. The BOE sets the interest rate they charge banks to borrow money directly from the BOE, and that's called the bank rate. The bank rate in turn influences the rates these banks charge their clients to borrow money or pay on their savings, like most policy rates. Here I have attached a graph showing the UK bank rate or base rate as it's sometimes referred to. This chart is a 30-year history of the bank rate. So you may note that rates have barely moved since the global financial crisis in 2008. Let's move over to Bloomberg for a moment to see how we find information about the Bank of England using the Bloomberg terminal. So the easiest way of getting to the Bank of England landing page is to go BOE Go. And Go is the way that Bloomberg describes the enter key. So whenever I say Go, it just means that I've just hit the um, enter key. As you can see here, it gives you the landing page for the Bank of England, including the Bank of England rate, the policy rate, as well as who voted to uh, increase the rate, which were zero governors, uh, seven voted to maintain the rate, and two voted to even drop it further. It gives you the next decision time, which is going to be March 26th at uh, 8 a.m. Uh, local time. And if you want to find the minutes, you can click here under the BOE activity. And it'll give you the minutes on the website from the Bank of England. Clicking on the calendar is similar to what we uh, showed you under the uh, ECB, which gives you the official bank rate, the policy meeting decisions, and you can again go back to any year you want and find the meeting uh, results. And on the bottom here is a historical chart for the last 20 years or so showing the uh, bank rate movements. A couple of other things I want to show you on the BOE landing page here. First of all, if you forget what the name of the landing page is, you can just type Bank of England. Bloomberg uh, will give you suggestions uh, as to functions that involve the Bank of England. And as you can see, the portal page here is under BOE. It also gives you uh, news stories, for example, regarding anything that's come out on the Bank of England. If we click NIBOE, it'll give you top ranked news as well as time order news about the Bank of England. And it will actually give you the bio as well for Mark Carney, who's the Bank of England governor at the moment. It gives you a uh, summary of his career as well as any news that have come out regarding uh, Mark Carney. And lastly, typing Bank of England, it also gives you all securities that have a relation to the Bank of England, including their government bonds, um, which are issued by the Bank of England, not by the um, Treasury. Uh, also the base rate that we talked about. So going back to the Bank of England landing page again, a couple of other things I also want to show you. Um, first of all, we talked about QE, and as you know, the Bank of England is also a um, central bank that has uh, started using QE as a policy measure. And under here, 
the asset purchase program, you will be able to find information regarding how much they actually hold. In this case, if I click 26, it gives me an index, which is UKAP, stands for asset purchases, and then GPT, which is uh, their mnemonic for the holdings of gilts. And as you can see, it's currently around 0.43M. So if you're confused as to what units that is, all we need to do is to go into the original screen, and it was UKAP, GPT, which is the cumulative total of the Bank of England gilt purchases. And once you click in there, you can use DES description, and it'll tell you that currently it's in quoted in uh, GBP in pound sterling, and the latest amount is uh, 434,990 millions. So it's currently 400 and 34 billion dollars of gilts that they hold. One other thing that the BOE is fastidiously preoccupied about is inflation. Uh, as you remember from my description of the Bank of England, if inflation exceeds the plus or minus 1% from the stated target of 2%, the governor, in this case Mark Carney, needs to actually write a letter to the exchequer of the Treasury and explain why it's happened and how he plans to rectify it. If you want to find information on the inflation um, outlook for the Bank of England, it's under the splash page as well. It directs you to the Bank of England website. And this is the latest one that came out in August 2011. And as you can see here, it gives you a very high level um, description of the economic situation within the UK at that point. So inflation is at the target and they've kept interest rates at 0 0.75.